A new law giving councils the ability to restrict the use of fireworks is in force from today. Local authorities can now designate control zones that would make it a criminal offence to let them off. It follows a number of incidents of antisocial behaviour around the country, but it's claimed the legislation will impact businesses who make and distribute fireworks. With more, here's Brandon Cook. On Halloween last year, gangs of youths caused chaos in the Curtin area of Dundee, smashing windows, blocking roads and lighting fireworks. The incident distressed locals and made life difficult for police. Now, a new law hopes to clamp down on at least part of this kind of antisocial behaviour. From today, councils across Scotland have the power to designate firework control zones. In these areas, it would be a criminal offence to set off a firework or knowingly throw a firework, including in private properties or gardens. Those who do face a penalty of up to £5,000 or up to six months in prison. Official organised displays will still be permitted within the zones. Today the implementation of local authorities being able to implement firework control zones just brings in legislation to support the community and give further restrictions to people letting off fireworks. The move has been welcomed by Police Scotland and Animal Charities. It comes just months after a clampdown of pyrotechnics at football and concerts. But the firework industry feel the legislation is misplaced. Norman fears it puts his Aberdeen business at risk. He questions if the new rules can be policed. We do a lot of displays for weddings and things like that. So if I know fireworks zone was in where Ardo House is, for instance, then we can do any displays at Ardo House. Yeah. If you say to someone you can have fireworks in this area, but not in this area, what you'll find is people then will start set setting them off in more public places, which is illegal. The people are getting punished for setting fireworks off in public areas, which has been against the law for over 100 years. We wouldn't be in the situation we are now. The management of the zones is now down to Scotland's 32 councils. Today, STV News contacted all local authorities in the north of Scotland. Seven out of ten replied in time. Aberdeenshire, Western Isles and Perth and Kinross said they're considering their position. While Angus, Highland, Murray and Shetland all said they have no plans at the moment to create any. Brandon Cook, STV News.